In this video, I will be demonstrating how I went about performing a FACO emulsification in a cataract which had a lot of high risk factors. One was a non uh, dilating pupil and secondly a white intumescent cataract. Here is how the surgery went. So initially after placing my 2.8 millimeter keratome incision with a steel keratome. I go ahead and uh, place uh, two side port incisions and then under air I stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue and expel both the air and the tripan blue with 2% HPMC. Just placing a bit of HPMC over the cornea as well. And then taking my bent 26 gauge needle, I go ahead and perform my rexus. Now watch carefully, I am not coming out. There is an egress of fluid, but I think I can manage. And as long as you do not lose the AC, and very carefully go around, you can manage. Otherwise, it is a better idea to do a small rexus and uh, treat this as a potential uh, Argentinian flag sign uh, cataract and do a double rexus. But here I have gone ahead and performed my maybe a sub 5 mm rexus. So at this part I do not want to continue because it is risky. So I come out put in more viscoelastic flatten everything and then again go uh, take my cystitome and complete the rexus. You could take the uthrata forceps as well but since I have got only HPMC there is a higher chance of losing the anterior chamber. Then once I have done this I go ahead do a very mild hydro dissection you actually do not need to do but this is mainly to kick up all the cortex which will come in my way of visualization later. So I just want to get rid of all this free cortex. I am actually uh, just washing it out of the AC. I do not plan to use any expansion device and hence I have to be very careful. And then again once again place uh, HPMC within the chamber. Just take out a bit of the HPMC and put in some sodium hyaluronate. And then proceed with my 2.8 millimeter FACO. I have got a sharp chopper, a short sharp chopper in my left hand and I am going to do the direct chop. This is not uh, that difficult to cataract, it is the pupil that is getting me worried. The initial chop not too great but will do. Rotate, go deeper and there that is a good chop. So you can go into a multi level uh, sort of chop and separate the pieces. Keep rotating, do not keep coming out of the AC uh, because that would uh, shut down your pupil even more. Always stay right in the center of the pupil. Do not come backwards or forwards because once you catch this iris, then it is it's going to be a different story altogether. So, once I have got enough pieces, I slowly take out one piece and under pulse very carefully. With my FACO probe uh, turned sideways, I go ahead and emulsify it at the iris plane or just above. This is a very soft cataract, you do not have to be too worried at the same time, do not don't be too confident either, do it carefully. And once uh, I find it difficult to access the other fragments. I come out, put in HPMC, 
and I will rotate these fragments for better access to my phaco tip. Do not move around with your phaco tip too much on the anterior chamber because then you would catch the sphincter. And there goes one piece and that is the final piece. Do it very slowly, that is it all out. And these small bits you can just get it out with your infusion itself. And then I go with my bimanual, try to go under the capsular rim and pull out whatever cortex is there. There should not be much. You may catch the pupil now and then, just make sure that you release it. Since it is a bimanual, it is very easy to change hands and get to the other side. And very carefully you can take, you can check all around. But be careful, this is a small pupil. Do not turn your port backwards, I mean posteriorly. Once done, you can put in H, I put in HPMC and then make sure I inject my foldable IOL right within the back. If needed, you can extend the incision a little bit. It has to be in the back delivery, not a wound assisted delivery in such a case. Now, with the implantation of the IOL and some rotation, some cortex can get pick, uh, kicked up, and that will make it easier for you to take out those in bits and pieces. There does not seem to be any here. And with this, I conclude my search. Thank you.